Welcome to Bread from the Porter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on March the 10th, 2018. The title of the message is Spiritual Darkness. And the Lord Jesus began, I am with you, my children, and though the world is changing, find sanctuary in my presence. For in my presence there is joy forevermore, and at my right hand are the pleasures of heaven. For the pleasures I offer you are not carnal, but spiritual, and they are meant to build you up. Though many walls are coming upon the earth, my children, you will find joy in my presence. You will exude a peace that the world does not understand, but they will yearn for it. Yes, they will yearn for the joy you feel and the peace that you walk in. Those who surrender to me will experience the same joy and peace, but the rebellious ones will live in constant fear and lack. And when I talk about lack, I do not mean lack of substances, but a lack of spiritual blessings. Children, I tell you truly that the misery of the marked ones will be a living misery, a living, breathing darkness that suffocates. They will no longer know joy, peace, or love, and their lives will be full of darkness. Even as light illuminates and uplifts the weary soul, darkness does the opposite. It depresses and crushes the soul. Can you imagine if it was dark all the time? If the sun did not rise at all? What would your disposition be like? Think about this for a moment. If the sun did not rise and it was dark, totally dark for about three days, how would you cope with the total darkness? It is an unnatural thing for man to live in physical darkness continually. It will affect his disposition and bring depression. Physical darkness was never meant to be continuous. That is why I created the day and the night. Most people are active during the day and inactive or asleep in the night. And all look forward to the rising of the sun, to the light. Even those who work during the night delight in the rising of the sun. Even though they sleep during the day, they always rise before night falls. Why? Because man was made to dwell in the light, both physically and spiritually. Now as bad as it is to dwell in physical darkness, how much worse is it to dwell in spiritual darkness? Believe me, it is much worse, but the reality of this will not hit you until you're actually living in it. Children, I am constantly appealing to the world to come to me for salvation. I do not want to see anyone locked up permanently in darkness. This is not life. This is not living. The worst situation on earth does not equal the darkness of hell. At least you know that darkness on earth only lasts so long, and then the morning light will break forth. But in hell, there is no light, only an everlasting fire. There is no companionship, just loneliness. No joy, just depression. No love, just pure hate. Who truly wants to live in a place like that? This is not living, but an eternal death. And it makes my heart sad when I see so many who have decided that since they do not believe in hell, then it surely does not exist. I am the truth, and I am telling you that hell lies beneath your feet. It is a real place, with real fire, real demons, and real people who died in their sins. Your denying its existence does not negate its reality. The saddest thing is that some of my own will end up there if they do not repent of their sins, if they do not stop living in carnality. I love you. I love all mankind, and hell was never created for man. Repent now. Listen to me. Repent and accept the salvation that I freely offer, so that you may not end up in the place of eternal damnation. I love you always, Jesus. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved. Amen.